how long have you been in Virginia? I have been in Virginia since summer of uh, 1996, so 15 and a half years. So, usually, what did you what did you prepare about emergency weather situation? Um, we are known to have, be in line for hurricanes here, so I try to have things prepared at home to have a small ice chest that is filled with emergency food, things that don't have to be kept refrigerated or don't have to be eat, heated to eat. Uh, also, any kind of uh, first aid kit, uh, bottled water, um, paper plates and things because you can't wash dishes through all of that. Uh, just so, and a radio or something that I can stay informed with. Uh, even if the television isn't working anymore, or we don't have any um, electricity to make those things work anymore. So, last, if you want advice to newcomer mm -hmm. for audio language course. Yeah. Well, actually, we had this situation last uh, summer, and right after our classes started, we had uh, students coming in who had just arrived and we had a hurricane that came in like that weekend and so luckily I had uh, some of these hurricane evacuation guides uh, that I had used in the class earlier in the year and it still had some under the desk so I think this helps people to learn what to do and what to expect I think if you know what to expect it helps and so you can prepare and it gives you ideas of what you can do, where you can go, how you can uh, protect yourself and your property and your animals and all the different things that you need to do. So I recommend this for newcomers as well as just talking to them and, and telling them where to go to get information uh, on television, online, uh, on the radio uh, when they first get here because it's all so new and they're so overwhelmed and they have jet lag to begin with from coming from far, far away. And uh, it, it's very difficult for those of us who've been here for a while to uh, prepare for an emergency situation with a hurricane or tornado or earthquake. We even had an earthquake last year. So that's highly unusual in this year, but those things happen and you just have to be prepared at any time. So uh, having food, having medicine on hand, having some cash because you can't go to the ATM or write a check if you don't have electricity, uh, having water, having um, uh, things for food for your pets and medicine, uh, having fuel in your car if you need to get away, uh, to understand about the evacuation routes if everyone does have to leave this area. Because we are in a low-lying area, we do have a lot of flooding here. So people need to be made aware of that. And in particular, the area around ODU floods particularly badly. And so you have to understand that you can't stay in the dorms normally here because of the flooding. Uh, and you can't keep cars here because of the flooding because it will ruin the cars too. So this booklet helps uh, to explain a lot of those things and to give all the information to students or to newcomers uh, so that you don't forget something. Many times if I'm just talking to them or one of the other teachers is talking, they may forget something. But this pretty well uh, gives ideas. But also for the brand new English Language Center student, it has lots of pictures. So that helps students whose language skills are still very basic to understand what to do, gives them an idea. Pictures speak many words. Okay. Thank you for the advice. You're welcome. Good luck. I hope you don't have to go through this experience again like you did when we first when you first arrived. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello everyone. My name is Young Min Kim. Uh, I made this video for audio newcomer because when I came here I didn't know how to prepare 
for emergency situation caused hurricane. American emergency situations are very different from my country. I think a lot of newcomers have had situation from Americans don't know like me. According to this list, I will talk about these ones, how dangerous hurricane is, evacuation, what stuff we prepare. Why should we prepare for hurricane? Because hurricanes consist of heavy rain and strong winds. Strong winds can make surge and it can increase the normal high tide by 15 feet or more. So it causes severe damage in coastal areas. This is a surge risk map. You can check your living area on this map. Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Suffolk, Hampton, Newport News. An evacuation order doesn't mean that everyone needs to leave to stay safe. Sometimes staying at home is more safe. But if there is a local official announcement about the exact areas you are living, you must leave from storm surge or flooding. There are several rules for evacuation. So you should check the evacuation route before the hurricane arrives in Virginia. You should listen to news from a local radio or TV, even when you're evacuating in your car. Because uh, you can get information about which road or uh, bridge is closed, where local shelter are, and where to find assistance by local weather condition, uh, conditions. If you don't want to be isolated in danger area alone, uh, it's important to be ready to evacuate immediately as soon as you listen to instructions. Sometimes, road and bridge tunnel and tunnel can be closed faster than you ex what you expect. Don't forget lock gas valves and disconnect electricity before you leave your house. What stuff should we prepare? Sometimes we have power outage for a few days, even at home. So it's better to prepare non-spoiled uh, foods such as canned goods and one person needs one gallon of water a day. A radio needs to listen emergency broadcasting with extra working battery. Basically, we need these essentials. So, what stuff should we add? It's uh, a little bit different according to person. But uh, you should add your uh, these stuff in your kit. There are flashlights and extra batteries, extra clothing and shoes, uh, sanitation supplies, fire extinguisher, extinguisher, extinguisher uh, personal meditation supplies and prescriptions. Important family document documents uh, in a waterproof container, for example insurance, bank account, uh, identification paper cups and dishes, plastic knives, uh, forks and spoons, blanket or sleeping bag. And uh, if you have pet, don't forget bring immunization records and brishy food, drinking water and bowls. If you wanna uh, if you wanna get more information you can refer to this website. Preparing for emergency situations will save your life, family, and what you love. I hope you enjoy safety, safe with your life. Thank you, guys.